Yeah, folks. We had a rainy, rainy uh, Thanksgiving, and all night long, it must have rained pretty good whilst I was sleeping. As you can see, uh, down there at the pond, about halfway filled up, uh, and it didn't have any water in it yesterday, yesterday morning. Anyway, just wanted to kind of like show you something here. This is how I built this with the dirt up around the edges like this. I got the tractor and I, I built dirt up around the edge of this greenhouse. <clears throat> and then along here, shoveled it in there. And I haven't been inside yet. I haven't even looked inside I was going to, then I thought, let's shoot a video and show you. And here you got the uh, water. It's like, uh, you know, just kind of pouring out. Or not pouring out, but over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little trickling stream. right there of water that's running along beside the shop the building here in the greenhouse and the dirt that I shoveled up there seems to be keeping it at bay so to speak from the chicken house and I might have to throw some dirt back in there but it looks okay it's alright to me <clears throat> and that water is just going down here Right here, along this little, kind of a little swale, really. Now that goes all the way out there. And that sort of retains water for the garden, if you think about it. It's a garden area there. It's a garden area over there. This will hold moisture in the ground a bit for that part of the ground. Anyway, it's supposed to. Let's go take a look inside and see if it's dry. One of the problems I've been having with the uh, greenhouses, and I knew I would have this problem. <clears throat> I didn't know how it was going to really be, but with uh, it's condensation. Let's go look inside. I need a corner. Up. Oh. Well, actually, I have a little problem already. But it's dry two-thirds of it looks dry right here it's damp damp and I think it's because of this kind of pushed in a bit I didn't uh, shore this up good enough as you can see it's loose so that might be an issue we are in a slant so whatever's up on the uh, on this end over here is going is the high end down there's the low end but it looks fine you guys doing with your wires you don't want to get your wires crossed I'm caught in your wing look at this one Stuck in the wire. You know, that bird right there would never survive. And I don't even know why I'm keeping her right now, but I am. She's less than half the size of a lot of these guys. I mean, look at them. These guys are beasts. They're ready for, uh, they're ready to be uh, processed at, they're just over eight weeks right now. This is, this is what these Cornish Cross look like at eight weeks. Uh, eight and a half weeks right now. 
And I'm not doing anything today. I didn't do anything yesterday as far as uh, processing, but uh, we'll be processing these guys in the next few days or, or after the weekend, really. And they'll be ready. They'll be nice sized birds. Don't know what I'll do with them yet. Either I'll eat them or I'll make dog food. I could make our own dog food. But, uh, I'm not selling them to the public. This is just my little try with Cornish Cross myself. Another test run, if you will. I mean, the last batch of chickens we did was basically a test run last year. Worked out fine. Uh, the batch that we got, two, uh, there are 200 up at the other coop that they're going to be uh, processed and sold as heritage birds, so if they are, um, 50 of them will be, and then the rest of them, 150 will be layers. And there's still going to be another four months before they start laying, so then we'll, you know, that'll be cool to see those, those eggs come from those birds that we're talking, uh, uh, you know, dark brown eggs and colored, you know, the green, uh, blue eggs and the brown eggs, of course. But these guys are waiting for me to feed them, as you can see. They have food, but they, they're not, they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. They got food in there. All you got to do is make it available. And we'll get him some more. All right. There we go. Hokey Farmer, signing off.